Okay, what do we have here? It's Jos van der Veen in our workshop with a very clever car. Uh, what car is it, Jos? It's a Peugeot 106, 106. 1998. It looks original. It is. It's very original. The only thing we uh, we changed from the outside is the is the color, is the paint. Yeah. We bought solar panels. We bought. Uh, uh, many things that are sustainable in uh, terms of energy. Yeah. Next project would be uh, mobility. Yeah. And because we uh, we drive a lot, we have uh, we have four children uh, who uh, who uh, attended school. Some of them we have to uh, we have to bring and uh, get from school. And uh, this was the uh, opportunity to uh, to change uh, the way we drive, to change the way we uh, we, we make our mileage. Yeah. What, what was your quest uh, in, in finding an electric car? Uh, uh, I wanted it to be uh, cheap or not expensive mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it, uh, it, it uh, should contain at least four people. Easy to manage, easy to, uh, to, uh, to drive and this was one of the few options we saw and uh, we bought this car from uh, a local owner who uh, had this one for about a year and he uh, imported it from France. You can see the new license plate. Yep. Uh, this, is, uh, this is an important, uh, imported car. And uh, we found one on the internet. Uh, where where, where, where do you find cars like this? Uh, is, it, is it difficult to get uh, uh, like this? Uh, we, uh, we, we mainly used internet. This is the only way you find cars like yep. this. Yes. And what, what should it cost? If you buy a car like this, if you buy a car that is in a good shape with the original batteries, it should cost you between five thousand and ten thousand euros. But we had some bad luck with the, this car the, because the original batteries were not as good as we hoped. No. So uh, within six months, this car was uh, was was off the off the road. Oh. So we were looking for a maintenance-free, compact powerful new power pack and we ended up uh, here with uh, Rebel who offered us uh, a, a, good, uh, a good bargain, a good uh, uh, packet, full, uh, uh, including the cables, the uh, balance system and the new charger. New charger and what, what, what cells are in it now? Kelp uh, uh, cells from 60 amp each. So this car needs uh, a minimum of uh, 100 amps so uh, the advice from uh, Rebel came from to use two batteries for 60 amp in series or in uh, uh, parallel and uh, 40 from those uh, two cell packages in series. So we ended up with uh, uh, 120 amps, 80 cells and that was uh, more than sufficient to uh, get this car on the road. And we even um, saved us 110 kilogram of weight. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah, that's great. The, the front, the front uh, section, which supposed to be full with batteries, is empty, and the new charger uh, has a place uh, in, in that in that uh, empty area. And, and uh, the main uh, weight is at the back of this car, where we uh, fitted uh, 150 kilogram of batteries. Um, we fitted a mini BMS system. That is, uh, that's the only difference is that you cannot monitor it with a, a screen or a, 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 a hook it up with a computer. Uh, it balances every cell separately with uh, only two indicators uh, in the form of two LEDs lights. So uh, we we chose that we chose that option because we uh, we had spent a lot of money on this car. And um, the, um, the the most sophisticated BMS system was too expensive for us for this car. Yeah, and the mini BMS was uh, was right for you, right? It, it works. Yeah. So, what are the specs of the of the battery package now? What's uh, um, 120 amps, uh, 136 volts, and 25 kilowatts. 25 kilowatts. Okay. Great. We bought the smallest uh, charger because it's enough for what we intend to use with this car. We only charge overnight. And then it's full again. Then it's, then it's full. Ah, great. So Jos, you have uh, some great experience now. 
If you yes. would do it again, how would you how would you do it? I would definitely buy this car, but not with the existing or original batteries. And without the batteries, it should cost between 1,500 and 2,000 euros. Whoa, that cheap. Uh, that cheap. Yeah. Not not more than than, than that, because the conversion uh, itself will, will cost around eight nine thousand euros, depending what you want with this car. But I would buy this car for uh, approximately 2,000 euros with uh, eight nine thousand euro uh, modernization, or fitted with new lithium polymer uh, batteries. Yeah. And um, then you have a car just around 10,000 euros that can take you uh, to your work, to, 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 the, to the mall, uh, to school, and uh, it's, it's, it's perfect. And then you have uh, uh, 150 kilometers of range. Uh, we, and, uh, uh, we measured the, the, uh, the maximum amount of range uh, in midwinter when it was uh, five degrees below zero, and we managed to. Uh, to get to up to 115 kilometers, but it was in a cold state. So we charged it and we left it overnight and then we drove it for 150 kilometers. I expect uh, in the summertime or in, in, the, in the warm period that this car would run at least 140, maybe 150 kilometers. That's great. It's a great car. It's, re it's a real, uh, it's on our list of uh, clever uh, conversions. It's great. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you. You're welcome.